welcome back to my channel. Today's recipe is going to be keto carrot cake. This is a great recipe for Easter time, and the full recipe will be down below in the description box, so that way you can make it at home. So I'm starting out with a couple baby carrots that I am just shredding in my food processor. If you can buy pre-shredded carrots in little bits, like you can do that as well. You don't have to do this extra step, but we're gonna use one half cup of carrots and some melted butter. Then we're adding two eggs. We're gonna add one quarter cup of half and half. You can use coconut milk or coconut cream instead if you want to make this recipe dairy free. Give that a good stir and then we're gonna add our almond flour, our coconut flour, and our tapioca flour. There's only two tablespoons of tapioca flour in this whole recipe, so you don't have to worry about the carb count being too high, but it's just a little bit of starch to make this recipe feel more cake-like. Next up, we're adding our baking powder and our spices. So we're using cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, and also I'm using this maple extract because it makes this have a more carrot cake, like maple type of flavor without using the extra carbs. We're using one quarter cup of sweetener. I like to use this pure organic stevia blend. It also has erythritol in it. And don't forget your pinch of salt. Give this a good stir. And then I like to bake mine in the one quart Pyrex dishes. Make sure you butter them and powder them with just a very tiny bit of tapioca flour or starch. That way you don't have any sticking when you pull them out of the oven. And you're gonna bake this for about 40 minutes at 350 degrees. Obviously you wanna do the whole toothpick test and make sure that that is the correct amount of time for your own oven. While they're baking, you can go ahead and start making the cream cheese icing. We're gonna use eight ounces of cream cheese and some butter. Then you're going to mix that up really well to incorporate all the air and get it nice and fluffy. We're gonna add some pure vanilla extract and some powdered sweetener. I actually use the pure blend that I used in the cake, but I powder it myself using my coffee grinder, or you can use the confectioner's swerve, whatever your favorite type of sweetener is. Go ahead and whip that again to incorporate it, and then you can go ahead and icing your cake once it's fully cooled. My bottom layer, I tried to get out of my pan before it cooled completely, and so definitely don't do that. I'm just gonna put my icing on top of there, and you'll never know that, you know, that cake didn't look as pretty. But then my top layer, I let cool a little bit more, and then that way it didn't stick at all. It came straight out of the pan. Feel free to cut these in half if you want and make a four layer cake, but I just like making it two layers and icing the whole thing. Sometimes I will stick walnuts on the outside or you could pick any other nut. This cake is the best once it sits in the refrigerator. I like it like super cold. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you all in another video. Bye guys.